In this demo, we'll see how Informatica provides a comprehensive and powerful ability to profile data on Hadoop, both through the Informatica developer tool and a browser-based analyst tool. This makes it easy for developers and analysts to collaborate on data flow specifications and validate mapping transformation and rules logic. Let's go ahead and select a logical data object, in this case, weblog logical data object, which is used to parse weblog data through B2B parser. We have a profile as an option that's available. Let's go ahead and select profile. We have a data object that's already selected. We have a few choices in what kind of profiling we would like to do on this data object. One is a column profiling, where we select the columns of interest in the data object and a profile based on the data that is actually available on these columns. We also have choices for sampling options. It's critical that we enable this as part of the run profile action. The other choice that's available uh, is to do data domain discovery. The important difference between data domain discovery and column profiling is this, that uh, column profiling allows you to take individual columns and look at the data and look for nulls, uh, patterns, uh, high low values, etc. Whereas data domain discovery allows you to define the type of data that you would like to locate in the system. And then once you have defined these data domains, you could then look at the values in these columns and see if they fit the pattern defined in the data domains. So in this case, let me choose IP address and stock symbol. And it's critical that we enable this run profile. So now we have both column profiling and data domain discovery enabled in terms of profiling. We can obviously choose all of these columns for data domain discovery as well. And insofar as inference options is concerned, we could either use maximum risk to profile as 1,000 or 10,000, depending on the type of data and the volume of data that we are profiling. And we could also say the minimum conformance percentage, which is out of what percentage of the values of this column uh, do I need to uh, check to make sure and, and, and then decide that this column is of type uh, of, is of this data domain type. So in this case, if 50% of the values of the column conform to the data domain, then we call the column of that data domain type. Uh, and we could change that to 80% to make sure we have a higher conformance level. OK, now that we have uh, defined the uh, conformance percentage and the inference options and all that, let's go to run setting. In run setting, I can run this in the native engine, of both the column profiling and the data domain discovery. In this case, I'm going to choose Hadoop as the uh, validation option. I'm going to choose Hadoop as the execution environment. And I'm going to browse the connection to select a Hive connection, which would enable me to take this profiling job and push it down to the Hadoop cluster for execution. Now that I've selected Hadoop as the execution environment and the Hive connection as the connection through which I'm going to execute it on Hadoop, the moment I hit the Finish button, the profiling job is going to start. So let's go to the monitoring console. And log in. In this case, we have the DIS running. And as part of the job that we did to profile, uh, this job is currently running here. So we have profile weblog job that's currently running. Let's go ahead and refresh this again. So we have a job that's currently running, and we can filter this out. This profile in turn runs a mapping. And this mapping in turn runs multiple Hive scripts as part of this uh, execution. And each Hive script internally gets broken down into multiple Hive queries. If we wanted to drill down on a particular Hive query, we could do so. We could come here and take a look at the um, actual Hive query that was executed. We could also look at the properties. In looking at the properties, 
we would drill down and we could also look at the corresponding MapReduce job that was run as part of running this profiling job and we could even drill down into the mapping task and look at the task logs and also go and um, look at the actual log file as part of this uh, drill down. So we have a tremendous flexibility in uh, starting from the uh, administrator or the monitoring console here that Informatica provides and drill down to the last level of detail on the Hadoop cluster and the status of the jobs that are running on the Hadoop cluster. So let's wait for this job to complete, the profiling job to complete. And once it's complete, we will look at the results that have uh, come out on the profile itself. Now that the mapping, uh, the profiling job has completed, we can now go back into the developer tool and take a look at the results. In this case, we have a, a results column, a tabular column available here. So when we click on results, all the columns that are part of the data object are displayed here. I could select the column and look at the corresponding values. What is the frequency of the values uh, that occurred on the column? I could also look at the patterns or I could also look at the statistics, the minimum length, the maximum length, the bottom value and the top value. I could do the same thing for other columns like stock symbol, etc. This is with regards to um, column profiling that we are enabled. With regards to data domain discovery, we had two domains that we had selected, IP address and stock symbol. It so now happens that uh, the discovery process was able to locate one column in the data object that had 100% conformance to the data domain that we had this, that we had defined earlier. Likewise, we had one column stock symbol that had 100% conformance to a data domain that was described earlier. So this shows us how to do profiling in the developer tool. This is a good example of how we do profiling in the developer tool. Now let's go take a look at how we do profiling using the analyst tool. So the analyst tool is a web-based tool. Let me go ahead and log into this web-based tool. I have a whole bunch of projects that I could select from. In this case, I'm going to select from the project that I had used earlier. And I'm going to create a new profile. I'm going to choose both column profiling and data domain discovery. I'm going to choose web log as the data object. And I'm going to go with the default options here for data domain discovery and column profiling. In this case, I'm going to choose these two data domains that I had defined earlier. And I have the columns selected for both column profiling and data domain discovery. Now I can go ahead and save and run this profile using the analyst tool. The column profiling has completed on the analyst tool because this was run on the native engine for a reduced set of data. And now I can select any one uh, column, in this case visitor ID or the stock symbol, and get the same data that was available earlier in the developer tool. I could look at values, I could look at patterns, and I could look at statistics available uh, for this particular column. I could also choose data domain discovery and get the same information that I had earlier got from the developer tool. This is how column profiling and data domain discovery is done on a uh, data object, be it a logical data object or a physical data object uh, in the analyst tool. This brings us to the end of the demo. Thank you.